Microsoft just updated Windows 11 again, and they tore the task manager up. Look how ugly this thing is. I'm going to show you that along with all the new features in this new build, so stick around. What's going on everybody we're back again with another windows 11 24 h2 insider first look i don't think anyone's made a video on this build yet it just came out yesterday if you guys enjoy these videos about the new builds of microsoft windows 11 be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe let's jump in uh, microsoft released the os build 26 236 for the insider program if you're in the canary channel like i am you can update to this today not a whole lot of changes but let's talk about the ones that they did roll out so this update includes a small set of general improvements and fixes that improve the overall experience for insiders running this build on their PCs. So I think the biggest one is the start menu. Um, if you are logging in with a Microsoft account, I am not, but I'll still kind of talk through what that change is. Uh, this update starts to roll out the new account manager on the start menu. When you sign in with a Microsoft account, the new design gives you a quick glanceable view of your account benefits and makes it easy to manage account settings. So essentially, when you click on start, uh, instead of this, if you have a Microsoft account, you would get a little preview of like your icon. And then really the purpose of that was to let you know if there were any actions that you might want to take. So for instance, if I click on this and then I go to my Microsoft account, this information here would pop up right in that start when I hit the start menu. So it would have a little overview here, right? but it would basically just be this information. Like it wants me to add a recovery phone number um, so that I never get locked out of my account. This is obviously just a uh, test setup here. So I'm not worried about that today, but just giving you insight into what that would look like. All right, so a couple things to note here. First one is a fix in the taskbar. Uh, they did reportedly fix an issue causing the taskbar not to appear for a small number of insiders in the last couple of flights. I didn't have that problem, but I did see some forums where people were saying that the taskbar did not show up. Now, one thing that's not noted in the reference document that I'm looking at, which is blog.windows.com, and I'll link that for you guys, is the fact that in the previous build, 26, uh, what was it, 26, 232, I did not have the noted update for the memory, and I still don't see it again here. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the DDR speed. Uh, they were supposed to convert it from megahertz per second to MT per second, which is mega transfers per second. However, I don't have any speed here for DDR. Now on my host computer where I'm running 23H2, I'm going to bring that over here. I do have that. So if I go down to memory, I see, where's it at? Right here, speed. So this is my memory speed, 4800, right? And that's megahertz because it's not running the new build of 24H2, which is supposed to convert that to mega transfers a second. Um, however, again, it's completely gone here. So I'm not sure what's going on. Fix it, Microsoft. Come on, you're advertising new changes and they're not even there. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. I mean, like I said, I just launched Task Manager in 23H2 and it's there. So I don't think this is anything that I'm doing. It seems to be a bug in the new build, at least for me. It doesn't show the uh, DDR memory speed at all. All right. So audio, supposedly they fixed an underlying issue uh, which was causing the preferred audio volume under settings system sound volume mixer. So let's take a look at that. So if we go to settings, sound, volume mixer, and then you could set your volume here. It's saying that for Microsoft Edge, that was not persistent across restarting the app. So if you set your different um, volume levels within here, it was not persistent when you restarted the Microsoft Edge app. I'm not a heavy Edge user. Um, I still prefer Chrome. There are some things that just work better in Edge right now. And I think that's gonna continue to be the case when you're a, a Microsoft customer or Microsoft user. But again, I'm not a huge edge user right now, so I didn't, I wasn't aware of that issue. But if you're an edge user, supposedly they fixed it. Let me know if it's still happening for you. All right, so known issues, guys. This is kind of a redundant one. I've mentioned this in the past few videos, but if you are an insider and you like testing out these new builds, apparently for some people, they are stuck on builds 26040 or build 23620. 
And if that is the case for you and you're not getting those new updates in the Canary or Dev channels, you can download the latest ISO. And there's going to be a link in that in that uh, article that I provide for you. And then you can also check out UUP Dump. I did a video on that. If you go to UUP Dump, uh, they have a list of all the latest ISOs for the new builds and releases that are only usually available or typically available in the um, dev and canary channels. So feel free to check that out. Hopefully you're not affected by that, but that is a known issue. Okay, so what else? We have another mention for the task manager here. We're investigating an issue where the colors in the performance section aren't displaying correctly in dark mode. So if you have your task manager set to dark mode, then you may have an issue with that. That's ugly. <laughs> I'm assuming this is what they're talking about. I I don't know. I, I'm guessing that's not supposed to look like that, right? It just looks like a... Um, I don't know what this looks like. It's like an EKG or something, the color. <laughs> or maybe a Richter scale. It's ugly, though. Fix it, Microsoft. That's uh, it's pretty janky looking. All right. So don't use Task Manager... Uh, for the performance anyway in dark mode right now if you're on this new build because it is no bueno Other than that there was a Microsoft Store update. So Microsoft Insider is in the Canary and Dev and Beta channel is running the version uh, 22.405 I think and higher. Oh, no, that's of the Microsoft Store and higher We'll see the following improvements rolled out. So fast safe checkout with Microsoft Wallet uh, Make quick and easy purchases in the Microsoft Store using Microsoft Wallet not Excuse me, not only can you earn Microsoft rewards points in the store, but you can also easily redeem your points for a gift card during checkout to apply towards your purchase. The wallet is fast, safe, and easy to use. I don't purchase anything in Microsoft Store. I haven't historically. Uh, never say never, but I couldn't really give you any feedback on that. But apparently they've made the, the uh, improvements that I just mentioned. All right, guys, like I said, this was a quick one. Not a ton of updates um, in this build. The last one was only a week ago, so they didn't do a whole lot of changes. And the other thing I'll note, like I said in the last video on the previous build, in the release channel in the Insider program now, this is, I'm sorry, 24H2 is listed there. So guess what that means? That means that's going to be RTM, guys. So they're going to release to manufacturers 24H2. So if you're a fan of it, that's great. If you buy a new PC, it's going to come with it. I know some of you guys comment you don't like a lot of the stuff they're doing in 24H2. Ah, sorry, man. It's coming. <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this build. Let me know if, you tr if you've tried it out yet. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about how to get in the Insider program and uh, test out these new builds. All right, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Till the next video, take care.